welcome. Today we are going to be trying MREs. If you are unfamiliar with what an MRE is, it is a meal ready to eat, provided by the US government to specifically the US military. Um, according to the packaging, it is US government property and commercial resale is unlawful. However, despite me not being a part of the US military, I got these at an antique store in the mountains. So their location will remain a mystery for their own protection. But also I did see these for sale on Amazon. So Bruh. I don't know what that's all about. Um, today we have menu number two, vegetarian option, vegetable crumbles with taco style sauce. Menu 19, beef patty with jalapeno pepper jack. Menu 14, creamy speed, Creamy spinach fettuccine. And number 22, beef goulash. There was many, many options. I kind of just chose these randomly, either because they sounded ridiculous, I thought that I remember them being ridiculous, or because they were vegetarian. I also did see one halal option. I didn't get it because the packaging didn't look like the other one. So I was like, mm, I don't trust that. To be honest, I don't know if I should trust these either because I don't think there's like an expiration date on these. <laughs> I don't know when these are from either because I got them at an antique store, but I don't know. I don't think they expire. I'm gonna eat them. Let's start off. I just realized this might actually be an 11 and not a two. So let's start off with menu 11, vegetarian option, vegetable crumbles with pasta in taco style sauce. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so this is what the halal one was in. It was just in this inner part, so that's why I didn't get it. Oh no, I thought, oh, 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 there was something slimy in, oh! <laughs> Okay, that's everything. Okay, first things first, they do provide this MRE heater. So you fill it with water and heat it. I don't know, I should probably read the instructions. I hate reading. I need water. Step one, remove MRE pouch and paperboard sleeve from MRE. Okay. Step two, tear off top of bag, place MRE in bag with heater. Huh? Tear here to use bag. Okay, so this is the MRE. And then you put it in here. I probably for sure should have just like Googled how to do this, but this should be self-explanatory. So you only need a teeny tiny little bit of water. Shit, I overfilled it. Ooh, okay, I can feel it. Bubbling. I did overfill it. Ah! It says it emits like gases. Ah! Okay, you're supposed to put it in the sleeve and then put it against a rock or something. It literally says a rock or something on here. The gases are coming out and I feel like my eyes are burning. This is probably why it's not for commercial resale. Something is happening and now I'm concerned I don't know how to deal with it because I don't, but it's happening. Oh, I want it to be done. Okay, well, while that's cooking, let's look at what else our beautiful military has generously provided for us. This one I think I will probably actually, I'd actually use this. French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. Applesauce. Enhanced with maltodextrin for increased performance. I'd probably use this too. Jalapeno cashews. These feel like they are not cashews. I know what a cashew feels like. 
I'm not feeling any in here. Oh, I guess I can see them though. Jalapeno cashew. Crackers. Chunky peanut butter. All right, this is solid. This is probably difficult to go wrong. And an apple cinnamon energy bar. It feels insane. It feels like I can't wait to eat it. And also some salt, uh, gum, moist towelette, and a napkin. And they also gave us a spoon, so that's great. Okay, I think our MRE is done cooking. Um, looking at the instructions, it does look like you were supposed to put it on a rock or something on an incline. I put it on something, but no incline. So hopefully, hopefully that's okay. Our cookers, don't eat it. The cooking in the plastic. Essential microplastics. Let's actually start out with an appetizer. Jalapeno cashews. This is what they look like. And they freaking stink. I'm really not like a jalapeno fan. They actually don't taste bad at all. <coughs> they definitely taste like jalapeno and cashew and like fresh. They, no, these are solid. Yeah. Next I'm going to do the drink. It says to add chemically purified water. I have a Brita, so same thing. I love the packaging. It's like a sexy woman. <laughs> Yummy! Wow! Bus. Okay. The French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. 10 out of 10. This is delicious. <laughs> Next, let's try the apple cinnamon nutritious energy bar. This is what it looks like. This is what the texture is like. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't taste bad at all. Mm -mm. I like this a lot. Next, uh, crackers. Now I was thinking you either put the crackers with the peanut butter or with the taco pasta. This is what it looked like. Okay. Chunky peanut butter. Let's try the cracker by itself. Mmm. I like it. There's not any salt or anything on it. Probably for I don't know what reason. Versatility. I don't know why I said probably like I knew why that would be that way. Chunky peanut butter, there's a nut right there at the end. Whoa. <coughs> that peanut butter is like 10 times more difficult to swallow than any other peanut butter I've had. Yikes! Okay, now let's go for our main meal. I'm gonna get a bowl. It smelled really spicy coming out and then I was in immediate fear for my bowels. <sighs> this is what it looks like. Mmm, it tastes delicious. Yippee! And I almost forgot the energy applesauce. Okay, energy applesauce. Very good. Next, let's try beef patty with jalapeno pepper jack. We have baked snack crackers. 
I'm assuming this is the beef patty. Marble pound cake, fat-free mayonnaise, Reese's Pieces. All right, let's go. The Reese's shout out. Cheese spread. I've heard a lot about the cheese spread, that it's dangerous. Beverage base powder, lemon lime, and plain tortillas. That's it, that's all it takes. And now we let it cook. Something's hitting me right now. Either too much caffeine or these chemicals. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> This is what it's looking like. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the Bev. This is actually very delicious. It's like a more delicious Gatorade or maybe a regular Gatorade, but I haven't drank a Gatorade in a really long time, so I don't remember what they taste like. It tastes like Gatorade. All right. I don't know if you're supposed to add the cheese spread and the fat-free mayonnaise, or like, what is the fat-free mayonnaise for? I'm gonna put the cheese spread on the side. <laughs> fat-free mayonnaise on the side. This is what it's looking like. Tortillas. <laughs> All right, don't eat that part though. Let's try the patty. The cheese aroma is also making me nauseous. Mm -mm. I don't like that one. Let's try it with the cheese sauce. Ah! 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 Okay, I can't take another bite of that. Mayonnaise. This is good. Baked snack crackers. Cheese it. It's <laughs> cheese it. And dessert. This looks like something I would make. This looks like a Chef Pat specialty. Ooh. It's nice and moist though. This is pretty good. Is it? Gourmet? No. Is it kind of similar to something you might get out of like a vending machine? Yes. So, pretty good. And I honestly feel like I don't need to try these because I know what they are, but they might have an expiration date on here. Oh no. The expiration date on these Reese's is May of last year. May 2022. Which means I still don't know if all these other things are technically okay for consumption, but I would hope, you know, they could last through like an apocalypse. Still good. I've definitely eaten significantly more questionable things, so. <laughs> Creamy spinach fettuccine. Ooh, this one has crushed red bell peppers. This one looks like something leaked in it. Cran raspberry energy bar, honey mustard onion pretzels, more peanut butter, more crackers, chocolate protein drink. This package just like looks older than all the other ones. Okay, so for the things that I've already tried, like these, 
I'm not gonna try them again because I already opened one package and these are probably gonna be my groceries for the week, so. Save them. I will, however, try this cran raspberry flavor bar. Ooh, this one's bright pink. Yum. Oh, this one's like way better than the other one. Mmm. This is, I guess, to make like hot chocolate protein drink using that same thing. And you put it in this bag. I'm not gonna do that. No. Oh no. Okay, the texture of this is like pudding. You know when you mix pudding before you pudding it and it's just like liquid pudding? This is what that looks like. Or like brownie batter when it's super watery. It doesn't look like a drink. I don't know if I put enough water in there. It's moving a lot. What is it doing? Hmm. Okay, this one isn't bad, but it just tastes like you're drinking brownie batter and it's like the same consistency. So that's a bit off putting. That threw me off a little bit, but yeah, it's not bad. Okay, let's get this party started. Okay, this one didn't heat up quite as well. There's a hole in it. There's a teeny tiny, I don't even know if you can see it, puncture right here, which is where that stuff was spilling out. So I'm gonna see what it looks like because I'm a really daring individual, but I feel like I probably shouldn't eat this one. Mmm. <sighs> Yeah, okay, this one doesn't look like something. <sighs> I'm gonna try it anyway. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, that one, I don't know what I was thinking by trying that one because it was open. I cooked it in all those poisonous gases and then I tried it anyway. That one was not good. Okay, that one tasted like the poisonous gases. Oh, okay, I hope I don't die from that one. But if I do, you guys saw it here first. Honey mustard pretzels. They're nuggets. Mmm. Okay, yeah, these were pretty good. Something I've noticed about all the crackers, other than I guess the Cheez-Its, is they're super crackery. Like they're, you have to chew more than usual. No Bevo moments. Yikes. And the final MRE. Beef goulash. First things first. Get started cooking. Now that I'm an expert on bag cooking. Oh my God, my fingernail broke. No! It's leaking! I'm gonna put it into one of my other bags. White wheat snack bread. Sugar cookies, patriotic. Yo, let's go. Energy applesauce again. More chunky peanut butter, strawberry jam, chocolate hazelnut protein drink. The last protein drink was, so, hopes are not high. Oh! <laughs> All right, 
it's super duper chunky. Oh, it smells horrid. Oh. Oh no, no. There's like a nice aftertaste that keeps making me think I should take another sip, but then as soon as I take another sip, it's horrific. So I'm gonna resist the urge right now. Let's go for this bread. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like a bug got in there. A moth cocoon. A dead moth worm. Wah wah. Oh. Doesn't really look like bread to me. Eh. It's not really that bad. I think after being so excited for the other things and after eating them and then realizing now they're probably all expired, Starting to feel a little bit sick, but we carry on. Let's see what's so patriotic. Oh, it's an American flag. Got a Liberty Bell. Most of them are broken. We got one of these Uncle Sam hats. The cookies are pretty good though. This looks like it's supposed to be a coin with an eagle head on it. And it looks like those are all our shapes. So, patriotic sugar cookie. Okay, I don't think this cooked very well, but it warmed up a little. Probably should have just transferred the other heat pack into that bag. The goulash. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Goulash. Ooh, a lot of corn. No, that's not corn. Is it farro? A lot of grains. Oh, and a huge chunk of beef. Can you, can you see? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see the beef? Expired food cooked in plastic is getting me. <laughs> yeah, that one was not very good. I didn't like that one. Also, now I'm feeling scared. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you for watching. Okay, if I had to rank them, the best one was the vegetarian one, probably because I was just like fresh to the experience. Then, because the ranking goes in order, the second best was the beef patty because the third one was open already and the fourth one was not good at all. Except for I did like the patriotic sugar cookies. So yeah, that was crazy. Now I've heard the consequences of eating these usually comes the next day or the following day with either being constipated uh -oh. or the opposite of that. I think I usually hear constipation, so. Not looking forward to that because I hate that. I don't like that at all. But was it worth it? Yes, because I wanted to do it. Will I be okay? Hopefully, probably. I feel like my body is pretty strong to these sorts of things. So I'm not too worried, but I do fear that I will feel pretty sick for the next small to medium length of time. And that's it. Um, lastly, shout out to our vets and active military. Thank you for your service. Uh, I hope y'all got some other options other than these ones today because back to back, that was, that was tough. I'm not gonna lie. Much respect, much respect. You got it. <laughs> 
And everyone, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and of course, leave a silly comment below. I always love hearing from you, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios!